Right, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the birthday problem. And this is kind of a famous uh, problem that uh, you'll see a lot of times in intro to probability courses. Um, it has a lot of uh, fun different parts to it. So, you know, I hope you enjoy Hope you enjoy this one. So let's go ahead and read through what's going on. So uh, basically what we want to do is we have um, a group of five randomly randomly selected people. So you know these people aren't related to each other in any way. Um, but we have five people and we want to know, well, what's the probability that at least two um, share the same birthday? Okay, so here is a key phrase we want at least two that share the same birthday, all right? So there could be three, there could be four, or there could be five. Whenever you see the word at least, um, you know, as you begin to study probability more and more, you'll, you'll come to realize you, you want to start thinking about the complement, right? Um, you, you know, because like, so if I want to find the probability that at least two share the same B day, you know, I could, theoretically, I mean, I could find the probability that, um, you know, exactly two, exactly two share B day, and I would have to add that to the probability that exactly um, three share B day, um, dot dot well exactly four would be next and then all the way up till um, exactly five right and that's a lot of work uh, finding each of those probabilities so instead what we could do is well we could say okay well what is our um, basically what is our sample space you you know you could have two share the same birthday you could have um, or you could have none right uh, you can't have one person share the same birthday with themselves. That doesn't work, right? So you can have none of them share. You could have two share. You could have three. You could have four. Or you could have five, right? This is the sample space. So um, at least two would be two or more. So the complement is none, right? So this is the complement, right? And the total probability is one. So the probability that at least uh, two share same um, B day using complements. And again, whenever you see the word at least, you should always be thinking about complements. But using complements, this is going to be one minus the probability that none share B day. Okay, so one minus the probability that none of them share B day. So basically, what do I need to know? I need to find, well, Really, this is what I want to know. What's the probability that none share a B day? Okay, so what is this? Well, um, in the numerator, I would want to think of uh, the number of ways that everyone's going to have a different B day. So number of uh, ways um, that everyone has a different, right? A different B day. So basically, uh, you know, person one's birthday is different than person two, or different person three, different person four, right? All that is going to be divided by the total, right? The total uh, number of birthday uh, combinations, right? So the num total number of um, you know birthdays possible. Okay, so, um, yeah, I just now I need to calculate the numerator and the denominator, and I will figure out what that probability is. All right, so first, let's go ahead and start with the denominator, the bottom. So the total number of birthdays possible. Right, and this is uh, straight up a multiplication rule um, or multiplication rule uh, counting method, right? Where the first person can have uh, any birthday of the 365 days of the year. Um, the second person can also have any birthday of 365 times a year, uh, etc., uh, until we get to the 
fifth person, right? So this is multiplication rule. We have basically five different parts to this experiment because there's five different people. So this is the same thing as 365 to the fifth power. Okay. Um, so that's, that is the denominator. Now what about the numerator? The number of ways um, everyone has different uh, B days. Right. So the first person can have a birthday of any any day of the year. Um, if the first person uh, does, or the second person does not share the same birthday as the first person, then they only have 364 options. If the third person doesn't share with the first two, they only have 363 options, uh, 362 options, oops. Uh, 362 options for the fourth person and 361 options for the fifth person. Right, and if you notice that basically this is uh, a permutation, right, because I'm basically sampling from a calendar without replacement. I have, uh, I have a calendar which has 365 days and I'm pulling out uh, five days um, from that calendar. So, um, you know, this is equal to P, 365, five. All right, and this equals 365 factorial divided by um, 365 minus five factorial. Right, so this is of course 365 divided by 360 factorial. Okay, and we would use a um, you know, computer to calculate this for us. All right, so now, you know, I have, this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So I can plug that in. Let me scroll back up here and then scroll over. So what do I have here? I have that this equals, um, basically, what was it? It was, I'm just gonna write it as P, uh, 365 permute 5 divided by 365 to the fifth power. Right? And so if you want to then find out the probability that at least at least two share the same birthday, you can plug this in. So kind of moving backwards at this point. And I would have this equals 1 minus P365 choose 5 divided by 365 to the fifth power. And how could I calculate this? Uh, now I would uh, need, need to use my computer. So, um, or a calculator of some sort. Uh, Excel has a really great computer built into you. Um, and a lot of people have access to Excel. So let's see, how would we figure this out in Excel? We would type in equals one minus and then uh, to do that permute, you have P R U or P um, R permute. There it is. Okay, and once you see it kind of pop up as a formula, you can click on it. And number is three hundred and sixty-five, and the number that you're choosing is five. Okay. Oh, I need this to be a comma. Okay, so the number comma, five, there, comma, and then five. Close parentheses and divide that by 365 caret, so to the fifth power. All right, and so we get there, there's our answer, um, 0 0.027. All right, so this equals 0 0.027. Or in other words, we have approximately a 3% chance. So it's pretty unlikely, right? And you can, um, you know, make this problem more general. So instead of having five people, say you had 10 people, uh, it would be exactly the same except this number here, five, instead of picking out five and taking uh, 365 to the fifth power, you would be taking out 10 and taking 365 to the 10th power. So actually, let's see how that changes calculation. I can go up here to the formula bar and change it. Change that 5 to a 10. I change that to a 10. Press enter. 
and we can see the probability gets much higher, right? Closer to 12%. If I change that to a percentage, right? So 11.7% chance if we had 10 people that at least two of them would have the same birthday. And of course, it continues to go up as you have bigger and bigger groups.